one of the most popular things um, in circle questions that used to come up in questions was one of the ratio things. Um, I've thinned out how many questions I ask on this because it's just not as popular anymore. All right. Um, it used these little extended ratios used to happen in lots and lots and lots of things. I've left them in here because it is something that we should talk about and at least understand what goes on. All right. So let's talk about what's happening here. First of all, whenever you see extended ratio, it's a way of doing a word problem in a much simpler way. You should just immediately give each thing an X. Okay. Because basically what it's telling you is in um, these arcs, these three arcs that I'm going to label right here. So ED is the three X. Uh, DC is the 1x, and CD is the 2x. It's telling me that those arcs are in that, those multiples, all right? So this is 1 times whatever x is, this one's 3 times it, and that one's 2 times it. So they could be 30, 10, or 20, all right? Or they could be 60, 20, and 40. Whatever the situation is, when you reduce them, they'd be 3 to 1 to 2, all right? So... When you come across a question like this, either it's going to be the whole circle or it's going to be half of the circle almost every single time. All right, well, if you look at this, if I start at E and I travel around here to B, which is where those end, so from E, I'm going to go like this, to B is 180 degrees because it's half of the circle. So that means if I take the 3x, the 1x, and the 2x, and I add them together, I should get 180 degrees. That's six X all together, which means I get X is 30. Okay, so that's 30. That means that this one is three times 30 or 90. This one's one times 30 or 30. And this is two times 30 or 60. Okay, this is a more complicated um, setup than I'm making it right now, but it's because we aren't going to do much of it anymore. We used to do it with triangles all sorts of different things. And it's just kind of gone away now. And you don't see it very often. Um, but if you do ever see one of these, you give each thing an X and you're going to set up some sort of equation and you're going to know what the answer to that equation is. In the case of a circle, it's normally going to be 180 or 360. Um, it could be something else, but you need more information to get to one of those places. 